This is Twit. We had an interesting story uh, happen today. So the SpaceX's uh, Crew-8 uh, mission for NASA uh, finally returned to Earth uh, uh, overnight, basically early in the morning uh, on this recording day, which is great. And it wrapped up what is the longest uh, Dragon mission ever. And so, you know, that's kind of news in itself. We were wondering when they were going to get back. And um, uh, what was it? Hurricane Milton? Is that the, the recent one? That was the one that I delayed so, it yeah, yeah, for uh, for a while. Uh, and they were having really bad offshore um, offshore uh, storms that were making the recovery uh, a bit difficult and challenging to map out. Uh, and that should change in the future because they're going to start landing astronauts back in, in uh, the Pacific. It should be easier for them. Uh, but after 235 days, they're back on, on Earth. So they had a press conference a few hours after landing, and they're like, hey, everything's fine. Crew's great. Everyone's fine. Uh, and, and then sent out a very cryptic email or, or a blog update that said that all three crew members were taken to a local hospital for additional medical checks. And um, just before uh, you and I started recording this episode, we got another update from uh, from NASA in which they, uh, they say that uh, uh, they... You know, they they went to a um, uh, Ascension Sacred Heart in uh, hospital in Pensacola, Florida, hmm. uh, and all three of them, Matthew Dominic, Michael Barrett, and Jeanette Epps, uh, you know, were, were there. So, the, and, oh, and uh, pardon me, Rose Cosmos, uh, Alexander Grabenkin. So, there's four of them that came back. Uh, were were there for for those checks, but one of them uh, remains in the hospital now for like additional monitoring as a precautionary member. NASA's not saying who the, uh, who of the, the four astronauts it is. Um, the other three have uh, since uh, made their way back to Johnson Space Center in Houston. And the astronaut that is at the Ascension Hospital uh, is in stable condition under observation. So, uh, you know, they're not dishing on, on who or what it is, uh, uh, you know, and, and what, what the issue is uh, for this. Uh, it is definitely atypical and not nominal. Uh, we've got a, a bit of video of them egressing. You can see they're being pulled out uh, onto um, uh, waiting stretchers because that's, they have, you know, they've been in space for, you know, close to six months or actually more than six months. Uh, uh, so, uh, so they, uh, you know, they, they're feeling gravity for the first time. They're kind of woozy uh, and, and whatnot. Sometimes they need help uh, to, uh, to move around. There is a long adaptation period where they get their strength back and, you know, get their, I was it earth legs that you need rod. Yeah. Uh, right. Um, because they get used to living in space and, uh, and just what that's like where you could just put stuff in the air and leave it there. Uh, and of course they're back on earth and they have to get readapted. So I suspect that the issue or the medical issue is some kind of, um, adaptation thing to, you know, just being back on earth with gravity, uh, and that after after months in space, uh, we're not going to find out anytime soon, I think, but at least they're back now. And uh, uh, and now in there, instead of there being uh, kind of a crowded situation on the space station, uh, they're kind of back to that that static uh, that static what is it seven eight nine eight, nine person size right now. Well, and if anyone has ever spent a lot of time on a smaller boat in anything other than smooth seas and then gone ashore, you have an idea of what it's like when you've been suffering just in that dimensionality so i can only imagine coming back to space must be much more challenging yeah yeah it's gotta hurt hey if you enjoyed this clip be sure to check out this week in space you can find us on your favorite podcast app or see the link in the description below see you there <laughs>